Yegalo kumanye bidi wo. Ebi ali wo. Owebi gindo kuba wo. Program. Tambula no kumanye gose. Tambula no kumanya. Ku Emaru TV ne Royal FM. Tambula no kumanya. Tambula no kumanya. Dr. Apro Nuchorebote was a Ugandan political leader who guided his country for independence in 1962. He was born on 28th December 1925 and died on 10th October 2005. Milton Obote was born at Akokoro village in Ilango territory in the northern part of the British Uganda Protectorate. He was the son of a poor chief in the Lango tribe. He began his education in 1940 at the Lorilla Protestant Missionary School, continued it at Gulu Junior Secondary School and Wasoga College, and finished it at Wakaira College around 1948 to 1950. Because the Uganda tribes people who lived in South Uganda donated the economy, a better way to clean it for a while, and he worked fast as a man. While in Kenya, he became interested in politics and was a founding member of the Kenya African Union. In 1956, Obote returned to Uganda. He entered politics when he was asked to return to the Lango district to repress a local Uganda National Congress party leader who had been imprisoned. In 1958, a sudden vacancy caused by the registration of the Lango member of the Legislative Council led to Ob Obote's appointment as a replacement. In Uganda's first direct elections later that year, Obata won the seat by a wide margin and his rise in Uganda politics was underway. Obata soon became president of Uganda National Congress Party. In 1960, Obata joined his organization to a rival party. Thus founding the Uganda People's Congress, he became its president. The 1961 conference provided for elections leading to independence, Obote aligned his party to the Uganda party under Kabaka Ika in order to defeat Bendik Tuchuanika, ruling Democratic Party. The coalition gained a majority of the Uganda votes and Obote became Uganda's Prime Minister. He presided over British withdrawal in October 1962. But this still didn't solve Uganda's problem. In accord with Uganda's constitution, agreed to by the British prior to independence, Obote appointed the ruler of Uganda to a largely ceremonial a office of the president of Uganda. But Ugandans were not willing to settle for less than a dominant press in the nation's politics, and Obote's alliance with Kawakaika became increasingly unstable as friction grew between Uganda and central government, and this erupted into a crisis in 1966. Obote suspended the constitution, declared a state of emergence, and assumed full power. He introduced a new constitution, abolished Uganda and other kingdom states within Uganda, and assaulted Kampala, the capital of Uganda, under the leader of Ajemo Ed Amin Dada. And here, the Uganda kingdom Amutesa II fled and died in exile in London. In the late 1960s, Obote tried to undermine the Ugandan economic power by moving the nation closer to socialism. In fact, he insulted authoritarian one party rule but failed to unite the country. On January 25th, 1971, while Obote was out of the country, Ugandan's army under Idamin Dada ousted him from the presidency. And after this, Obote fled to Tanzania, and Amin ins instituted a bloody regime of terror and, and repressed for eight years. 
Amini's ousting and setting up of the presidential commissions. The other two presidents were Yusuf Rule and Godfrey Binaisa. The elections in 1980 were won by Obote's, Obote's Uganda People's Congress Party. However, the opposition believed that the elections were rigged, which led to a war by Yoweri Museveni's National Resistance Army and other civil groups. On 27th July 1985, Obote was deposited again, as in 1971. He was overthrown by his own army commander in a, merit, in a military camp. This time the commander were Brigadier Bazirio Orara Okera and General Tik. Tiko, Tito, Okero, and these two men briefly ruled the country through a military council. But after a few months of the near chaos, Museveni, after his second removal from power, Obote fled to Kenya and later to Zambia. For some years, it was rumored that he would return to Uganda politics. In August 2005, however, he announced his intention to step down as a leader of the Uganda People's Conference, UPC. And by September 2005, it was reported that Obota would return to Uganda before the end of the year. But suddenly, on 10th October 2005, Obota died of kidney failure in, his, in a hospital in Johannesburg in South Africa. And after his death, he was given a funeral attendant, atten, attended, he was given a funeral attended by President Museveni in the Uganda capital, capital Kampala in October 2005. He was survived by his wife and five children. On, on 28th November 2005, his wife Miria Obote was elected as the party president of UPC, Uganda People's Conference.